can we get store-bought mushrooms to regrow? Stick around to find out. Let's go back to organics. Hey everybody, today I'm going to try to propagate some whole button mushrooms. Um, I'm going to try to propagate them in some used coffee grounds. I boiled this coffee ground for probably about 20 minutes and then put it in a rag and really rang it out. Um, those have had time to cool. While those were cooling, I have taken this alcohol, rubbed it over my hands, rubbed it all over the inside of each of the jars, over the spoons, over all the rims, over the knives, and I've also rubbed alcohol on both sides of these coffee filters. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this spoon and I'll grab a jar. Just a little bit of, actually I'll get a, get a different jar, see if there's a different one that has a little less alcohol in there. Left in it. Okay. Now I'm going to spoon some of these coffee grounds into it. So everything being sterile is about as sterile as you can get. You want uh, as much uh, sterility as you can possibly have. Um, so I'm just going to scoop a little bit of these in. Kind of, I'm trying to get about an, maybe two inches in the bottom. Trying to get about that much. And I'm going to put that much in each one of these and then I'll get back to you once I'm done with that. Alright everybody, sorry you couldn't join in on that. I got a little hectic there trying to keep everything sanitary and and whatnot. So, um, I believe in that jar, I believe that's the one. Oh, let's start with this end jar. I took uh, three of the mushrooms and just whole, took the stems and stuck them down in the, into the coffee grounds. This one, I popped out the three stems and just stuck the stems down into the coffee grounds with none of the hoods on the top. And on this one, I kind of cut one of the hoods in half, and then I cut up a stem and put it around in four different places. And then this one, I put just the, the tops with no stems in it. And so we're going to give these a couple of days and see just how they do. Um, hopefully everything was sterile and... Hopefully we start seeing some white stuff growing through the coffee grounds in the next couple of days. Um, and then once we start seeing that, we'll open them up and add more coffee and keep filling it with coffee until we get a whole coffee or a whole jar full of just mycelium and mushroom roots and coffee grounds. So, all right, I'll keep you updated on the project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more organic gardening tips and how-tos.